we are going to honor a very important member of the Manzanar Committee. Wilbur Sato, who is right here in this chair, right below the stage, is receiving the Sue Kunatomi Emory Legacy Award. Wilbur, will you come to the stage, please? We want to uh, invite Mayor Serda from Gardena, who is a good friend of Wilbur's, to be on stage while Wilbur accepts this award, and Wilbur will say a few words. Am I up? You're up. I think this, this award is called what, the Baka Guts Award? Baka Guts. That's not me, that's why I put this on. It's not me, I'm not Baka Guts. Some people have called me Baka Guts at times, but that's not me. I want to thank the Manzanar Committee for this so-called award. <laughs> okay, but, but uh, what I want to talk about is is uh, uh, is particulars, and it's going to. I'm depending on all of you people out there to take the particulars and 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 use your imagination just to understand how the particulars affected the whole community. Okay, so listen carefully. Okay, but first thing first, uh, Alan Nishio um, had a speech at the Day of Remembrance. All of you should have a copy of that speech in your family albums. It's something that everybody should have, Alan Nishio's speech. Okay, think about it. The other thing is Ann Burroughs. I followed Ann Burroughs for years and years, and her great struggle for civil liberties. And I was really overjoyed when she became the, appointed to become the CEO of the Japanese American National Museum. We're very lucky to have her. Uh, she's very intelligent, great leader, and we're in good hands with, with her as, as the uh, CEO, okay? But I was born in 1929 the year of the Great Depression, people were, thousands and thousands of people were, were, were out of work. People were begging in the streets. That, that's the first thing. And if you were Japanese American and you were poor, you didn't have medical, you didn't have medicine or doctors. You, you didn't have a lot of things. So, when I was born, I was born in a home in Pasadena. And I could go back and say that home is still there. So very, very few people can do that. But that's not good because we didn't have, we didn't have any medical people. We had some lady who helped my mother. And I was a breech baby. So they pulled me out by the butt end. And in doing so, they injured my eye. So I ended up with one eye. I ended up with only one eye. Okay? So that's what happens when you're poor. You don't have medicine, you met doctors, you're poor. Okay? Not only that, but uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, if, if you're, if you're Japanese American at the time, uh, your, your, uh, your father, for instance, if he was born in Japan, he could not become a citizen. He could not marry outside of the race. He could not own property. This is all law now. You guys take, this is individually. Now, how did this affect the community? Use your imagination, okay? The other thing is, they, they, if you were married, if you were a citizen, you were married to a Japanese born in Japan. You lost your citizenship. That's the other thing, okay? And you couldn't marry outside of the race. So, so, and if you were if you were Japanese American, the 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 the, the terrible menial jobs that you could have. You, you worked in the, uh, 
during the summer or the spring picking fruit and vegetables, you know. And and if you were poor and Japanese and you wanted to travel, for instance, to travel to Oakland, you got in your car and you took a lunch. You took something to lunch and you and you went halfway and you parked and you slept in your car. Why? Because Restaurants could refuse to serve you. Hotels could refuse to, to let, let you give you a room. This was this was part of our way of life. Okay? This and not only that, but blatant uh, racism and by the media and newspapers, uh, Hollywood, so on. Uh, Japanese Americans were called all kinds of names, you know. It was not only called names, but they were, there was violence, and, and it was terrible racism. So some of you don't know that. But this, these were terrible, terrible times for Japanese Americans. Then, what happened to us? We were put in places like Manzanar without without being charged with anything, without, you know, they took away our freedom, they took away our rights, and they, they said we were not, we're not American. They said this all happened to us. This all happened to us. We have to give you the award. We have to give you the award. <laughs> well, we have to give you the award. But no, no, but really. So this happened to us. But what happened after that? So like, for instance, the two world wars. The veterans started saying, look, we've been killed and wounded on the battlefield. We're going to fight, fight for our rights. We started having fair employment practices. We started having uh, housing laws. We started having all kinds of uh, civil rights fights. So, you know, we got, we got to the point where right now, for instance, in city councils all over the state, the people are elected, most of the people are elected by in mass, right? The law now says they have to go by districts. That means more democracy. These are these are things that are changing and democracy is winning. So you gotta remember that. Trump is just a flip in the thing. On the screen, he's not going to last, and democracy is going to win. Okay. Okay. We want Wilbur's family to come up here, please. Wilbur's grandkids have flown in from Hawaii and Oregon and I believe North Carolina. So can they please come to the steps? And we're going to present the award to Wilbur on the steps, and we have a special presentation uh, of a special name from Hawaii. Really? Yeah. Come on down. Here. Come on down, we're going to go on the steps. Let's come down so we can get pictures. Come on, are we doing our two? Come on down. <laughs> All right. Okay. Right there? Okay, here. Okay, here. Oh, Harmony, Chris, Josh, Emerson. Came from all over the country. 